Uh, before that, let's see the model. Alright, uh, G1010. And uh, the purpose of me taking this video is to show that uh, in fact the printer is in working condition. Whereby it managed to print. It managed to print. And then um, <coughs> right now I try to send uh, another one of printer, uh, another copy of print. Of course, the print now is, uh, you can't really see the print now very clear because I use a recycled paper. But the purpose of this is to make sure that the part, the particular part, which is the PE sensor that I'm going to use later on to, sh to be shipped out, uh, is a working condition one. Alright? So. That's again another one that you can see. Uh, all right. Obviously, it is uh, the printer managed to print. <clears throat> all right. So right now, I'm going to disassemble the whole thing. I'm going to disassemble the whole thing. I'm going to remove the PE sensor from this printer. Right. Uh, okay. Uh, I try to remove. I think this must be removed as well. Uh, I try to make a quick one. Yeah, I try to make a quick one because the the main purpose of this video is not to show to how to disassemble the whole thing. The purpose of this is to you know to show that uh, the item, the particular part, which is the P sensor, as I mentioned. Uh, that uh, I'm going to ship out is actually in good condition so uh, I won't do a very clear uh, introduction of this uh, I straight to the point that uh, I will show you that uh, the PE sensor okay the PE sensor that I'm going to remove is a good one So here we go. This is the P sensor. Right? Okay, this is the P sensor. Okay, and uh, I'm going to put into a a bag. Okay, this will be the P sensor. So. 
Okay, here you go. So I put the printer aside first. This will be the P sensor, yeah? I put it in, I think I tried to look. I tried to ma uh, make sure that the P sensor is covered within the screen. Okay, so right now, uh, let me see. Okay, there are four sponge. For this order, there are four. Uh, Epson, Epson uh, L1110 sponge with pads, all right? And this is the PE sensor, okay? This is the PE sensor that I'm going to insert here. So I try to put it within the sponge, I think it would be better. So here you go. So right now I'm going to pack that. I'm going to pack this. Okay, I put on another uh, layer of the wrapping. Another layer of the wrapping. Alright, and uh, this will be again just to emphasize this will be the order. Hopefully, the order ID is clear. Alright, so right now I'm going to put on the label, the airway bill on the parcel. Alright, this will be the order for that particular, uh, uh, this will be the parcel for the particular order. So, uh, I'm going to ship it by today. So, uh, again, I, uh, I need to emphasize that the PE sensor actually proven, as you can see in the initial, at the beginning of the video, uh, the PE sensor is a working condition one. Alright, thank you for watching my video. Uh, of course, again, just before I end my video, in case I know how Shopee is going to handle that, even though with this video, Shopee will you know somehow claim that uh, they they need to have a very clear uh, picture from the journey of my office to the to the drop off point. Uh, yeah, by by all means, just can just get my cancel my order being cancelled and refund that. All right, if you need that. If you need to do it that in such a way, then I think uh, you don't have to request me to provide any kind of evidence or whatsoever. Just get it refund. Oh, by all means, thank you.